And perhaps the most disheartening case of looting that we've seen happened in Lakeland. Yeah, thieves there broke into the Florida Dance Theater. Now, this is a nonprofit organization just trying to do good for people. News Channel Ace Melissa Marino is there live tonight. And, Melissa, Mar these, these disasters, it brings out the good in people. We've seen that. But it also brings out the bad in some people. It's so sad to see people taking advantage of this, but that's what they are doing. I want to show you here. This is where these crooks broke in through the glass, shattering that glass and taking advantage of this nonprofit organization. Even the Jane Bell thought she would be cleaning up after Irma. I mean, you can see around here our file cabinets. I mean, it's just 24 years worth of stuff. But this isn't storm damage that hit the Florida Dance Theater. It was humans. This is the back door of the studio on Main Street. You can see the looters busted their way in. They trashed upstairs offices and helped themselves to the safe. They damaged props for our actual performances that, I mean, we can't replace those things, you know? Um, and of course they hit the safe too. Uh, of course you can see they hit the safe. A big blow for the nonprofit organization that has served the community for 24 years. It's just a why. You know, I could understand if, if there was a door open or something and they came in and wanted shelter, that's fine. We're talking total damages of our air conditioning unit, our ballet floor, um, you know, structural damage, doors, technology, all of that. I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars. The heartless crooks leaving behind a trail of damage and heartbreak. Yesterday I just sat down and cried in here. It, it, this is our family, you know? It's, I don't understand why anybody would do this. So violating, she says, and the vandals also hit this building, the All-American Gym next door, they went through the office there. Back here at the dance studio, a silver lining. We are told the community is really coming out to help. We know that more than $1,000 was donated through Facebook, and also more people have been dropping off checks. Keith? Well, hopefully it works out better for them in the end, and these the, the ones that took it, they'll get their day soon. Yep. Let's hope for that. All right, Melissa Marino, thank you.